after the Palmama attack on soldiers in Kashmir, many people live in India. They feel angry and they feel that they, India should attack Pakistan to punish for that attack. I understand why they are so angry. I was born in Pakistan, but now I am living here in the United States for many years. I am not one of those who wish harm to India. I've been to India many times and I found Indian people to be great people. Let me say frankly and honestly, I love India and I don't mind shouting Jai Hind because uh, I don't want to see any harm to India. Of course, I love my native country too. I was born there, so naturally I have an emotional attachment with that country. Honestly, I don't want to see any harm to either India and Pakistan. What I believe is if India attacks Pakistan at present in what's going on, India will lose and Indian army will surrender to Pakistani army. Let me explain why. Okay. I have reason to believe the India will lose. Okay. The reasons are Okay, first of all, the Pakistan has denied playing any role uh, in that attack. So that doesn't give India a right to attack Pakistan morally. And also There are so many people in India, they are not happy. In case a war breaks out between India and Pakistan, almost all Kashmiris, all Muslims, all Sikhs, and all others, including Nepali-speaking Gorkhas who want freedom, uh, uh, want to break away from India, and they want to create their own Gorkha land, they will find it a golden opportunity to what they want. So you tell me how Indian Army can fight those millions of their own citizens while fighting or defending uh, their own country against Pakistan army. Obviously, it won't be possible for Indian army to continue, continue fighting against both, uh, both uh, the Pakistani army and those one who want to start a civil war. And please do not believe that all Muslims in India, they are faithful to, to India. Not all Sikhs living in India are faithful to India. You know the history of what happened many, many years ago. You know what happened in 1984 against Sikhs. You know what's happening with the Muslims living in India. You know the Kashmiris, they are angry. They are, they just want to get out of India. They want to break away from India. You know that. And why did you believe that they will not start a civil war against India uh, in case a uh, war starts, war breaks out between India and Pakistan. And also you know the fact, Pakistan has hundreds of missiles. Uh, they're all like long range missiles. They have hundreds of fighter jets like, uh, including F-16 and other fighter jets. And also they have atom bombs. You don't think that Pakistan is uh, not what it used to be in 1971. Believe me that I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to explain you the facts. So you won't get in trouble.
what will happen in case there is a war between India and Pakistan? Of course, so many people will die, but eventually at the end, I don't want to say that, but you know, looks like it's going to happen. India will be cut into many parts and Pakistanis will decide what part we should be given to to Hindus and what cities should be given to Muslims and what cities should be given to Nepal. Oh, of course, Nepalis are angry. Nepalis are not your friends. If you ask them, they'll say, oh yeah, we're your friends. They are not your friends. Soon get a chance, they will stab India. So when you, you see you are surrounded by so many enemies, Kashmiris, Muslims, Sikhs, Nepalis, and plus Pakistani army, there's no way you can fight. So what you should do? Just calm down, stop talking wars, and try to be uh, like good friends, good neighbors. I'm not trying to defend Pakistan, but the Pakistani governments go government say that uh, they have nothing to do with any terrorist attack in India. Some people, they're angry with India. Maybe they just cross into India. Okay, so when they cross into India, that's Indian army, Indian police, that their job. They should stop them. If they fail to stop them crossing into India, then don't blame Pakistan for that. You blame your own army and you blame your own police officers who are not doing their job. You know, I am not living in Pakistan, so it doesn't bother me what happened in India and Pakistan there. But I want to see, actually, I have a dream. I want to see India and Pakistan living like America and Canada. Please listen to me what I'm saying. Wish for uh, peace, love and friendship. Do not wish for war. War is a terrible thing to happen. It will bring, it bring destruction to both India and Pakistan. So please try your best to avoid it. Jai Hind, Pakistan, Zindabad. God bless the people of India and Pakistan. Thank you.